Hey everybody, Justin Cener here. A couple weeks ago in my Facebook group, my free uh, Cener e-commerce mastermind group, I did a poll. I asked people, what are they struggling most with, with print on demand right now? And I got some really interesting responses and I thought I would make a video of it. You could see the poll that's on the screen right now. This is literally what I posted inside the group just a couple weeks ago. And I'm gonna break down each of the uh, top 10 or 11 responses that people gave in terms of their problems, the things that they're struggling with, with print on demand, and I'm gonna provide a solution for each one. So this is gonna be about 11 problems that people are having in print on demand and 11 solutions to solve those problems. So let's just jump into it right now. All right, you see the first uh, thing listed on the, on the poll. Overwhelmingly, the uh, biggest problem, biggest struggle that people had was designs and designers. And uh, I'll talk about this, uh, you know, pretty briefly, but this could be a really in-depth subject. And, uh, you know, when you find a, uh, first of all, your, your job as a print-on-demand entrepreneur is to find a really great designer. Um, you know, there are, there are definitely lots of people who say they're graphic designers and t-shirt designers and, and uh, you know, wall art designers and all that stuff, but there are a lot of people that aren't very good. You need to really go through a lot. You have to test a lot. You need to test them quickly. You don't want to commit too deeply without really understanding their portfolio and understanding if they could create the type of artwork that you need. And, uh, you know, it's a challenge for sure. That's why there are a lot of different sites out there that are trying to be the solution for that, trying to have pre-made designs, uh, trying to have designers all in one place. There's uh, places like Upwork, there's places like 99designs. But when you have a good designer, it's a massive asset to your business. They're not only going to obviously create really good designs, but they'll help you by uh, they're not going to come up with the ideas, but they're going to help kind of flesh out the ideas from, you know, you coming up with just an idea that will be intriguing to the niche and them kind of translating that into something that can look good as a design. Um, that's what a good designer does. And, you know, there's no uh, kind of magic trick to get one other than just, you know, trying out a lot. Uh, you know, you have to understand that a lot of people's portfolios are, are, you know, they're fake. They're not exactly what they could reproduce every time. There might be other people's work. You see that all the time on Fiverr, which is why I always say stay away from that. So, you know, you got to just find a good designer. It's not You're not going to find them on the first try, and that's okay. You know, there really aren't that many other uh, huge challenges. There definitely aren't any other big resources that you need in this business. So, um, you know, just keep testing out the designers that you think – uh, you know, have the potential to work for you. Don't give them anything more than just, a, you know, one, two, three jobs and uh, see if they can come up with the design quality that's needed to sell in your niche. So, uh, you know, some, some really good sites, uh, ecomlibrary.com. Uh, this is a site where there are uh, lots of pre-made uh, sites. I'm sorry, pre-made designs. Become a member. It's uh, 47 bucks, And you just basically buy pre-made designs. Um, and once you buy the design, it gets removed from the library. So this is kind of a substitute where you don't have to go out and find a designer. You can just pick pre-made designs. Um, there's other sites, designercash.com. You can take a look at that where there are basically just print-on-demand designers all congregating over here, and you could be able to work with them directly. So those are two great sites uh, for sure. You could also check 99designs.com. You could check upwork.com. Uh, you could check dribble.com. These are all good places to find designers. Uh, the next thing on the list was more products and variants. So basically just, you know, more unique products. And, you know, I think everyone can agree that, you know, it would be great if there were thousands and thousands of print-on-demand products. And there's no doubt that eventually it will, it will get to that point where there's going to be just, you know, literally thousands of pages worth of uh, uh, products in, you know, the overall print-on-demand catalog. But we're not at that point right now. But, you know, we have been moving super quickly from, you know, the original days of things like, just t-shirts and hoodies and apparel. And arguably wall canvas, you know, the, the wall art, the canvas prints, those are the most popular um, print on demand products in terms of uh, seller's perspective, right? Because you make the most money on those, right? You could have 100, 200, 300% margin on some of those uh, bigger sizes. So uh, it's really great. Now, back to my original point, we'd all like to see more products. It's true. Um, your job as an entrepreneur, a print on demand entrepreneur, you can't create new print on demand products. What you can definitely do is of course always come up with new designs and anytime there is a new product you need to rush to add it to your store right there's no risk in adding every single print on demand product type to your store especially when you have a big library of designs and i'll give you a great example uh you know maybe a a, a year a year and a half ago at this point um cell phone wallet cases got really popular they were uh, relatively exclusive to one uh, or maybe two print-on-demand providers. And all the big stores immediately jumped on those products. And these big stores, or, or even new stores that have good designs and good advertising, right, they're able to reach people inside the niche. Let's say it's the cat niche or the dog niche. And, you know, uh, maybe they've seen T-shirts over and over. So you really need to have awesome design 
to compete in those niches, but they haven't seen wallet cases before because it was a new product. They definitely haven't seen custom designed, uh, you know, print on demand wallet cases. So, you know, everyone wants more products, but, you know, the best uh, kind of, uh, um, it's not even a trick, the best strategy for a smart print on demand entrepreneur would be to stay, you know, super up to date on all of the platforms, all of the print on demand providers. And when a new product comes up, uh, you know, throw your best designs on it immediately. So uh, another one that I like to see up here um, was list on multiple platforms at once. Um, I think that this is definitely something that people are going to want a lot more. You know, there are definitely a lot of people doing it right now. Um, you know, I think one of the more, more underrated uh, print-on-demand platforms right now is Etsy, where you can still have full automation, but you really just leverage kind of the organic traffic that, uh, that Etsy gets, you know, basically their search engine traffic. Uh, or not search engine, but their search inside. When people go to Etsy.com and search, um, you know, having the right optimization, having the right keywords, and having just a huge amount of products in terms of volume, um, you know, that's going to allow you to take advantage of Etsy. So what people want to see is a print-on-demand app that you just basically press, you know, publish to Shopify, and you could maybe check a box and say, also publish to Etsy, also publish to Merch by Amazon, also publish to, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know, Redbubble, or those aren't really even worth it. But the idea is just publishing to multiple platforms at once. So I think we'll see a lot more of that. There already are some kind of integrations that somehow uh, or somewhat do that. It's not perfect in terms of being able to place uh, on every platform. Some are tools that go on top of other platforms. I think, you know, the print-on-demand provider that can integrate um, all the different platforms inside of their own app um, is, is really going to take the lead in terms of this multiple platform thing. And, you know, people definitely want it. Um, next one, you know, very common one, shipping and processing times. Uh, you know, everyone wants it to be uh, faster. I mean, if you're having consistent uh, shipping issues with your print-on-demand provider, you need to switch. Um, there's just so many options out there, um, and they all have the capability to uh, very efficiently uh, ship the product to the customer, produce it quickly, process it quickly, you know, get it in the mail, get it off to the customer, you know, quickly. If you're waiting weeks for the product to be uh, processed, you know, like I said, you need to switch print-on-demand providers. So, you know, I don't think shipping is going to get much better. There's always going to be a little bit of lag in between the order coming in and it actually being processed and then actually being packaged and then actually being picked up and shipped. There's so many different steps. So, um, you know, I, I don't think that, you know, we're going to see a, a, a significantly shorter shipping time. Um, but, you know, this is all about picking the right print-on-demand provider. You need to have quick processing times and, you know, it just needs to get in the mail as quickly as possible. Everyone's going to send the same. It's all going to be first-class mail, but most likely for a typical T-shirt, right? Um, you know, once it's in the mail, it's all going to be the same. You just need to get a print-on-demand provider that gets it in the mail quickly. Uh, and other people, uh, a lot of people say better mock-ups, and I hear this a lot. You know, I think this is, uh, you know, this is easily, um, this is easily fixable. I mean, all you need to do is just spend the time on it. You do a quick Google search for, um, you know, a uh, wall art canvas mock-up or, um, you know, t-shirt mock-up or hoodie mock-up or hoodie model mock-up. And, there, you know, there's tons of free ones. Uh, a site that I like is uh, Mock-Up World. I forgot the exact URL, mockupworld.co. Uh, a lot of free ones on here, tons of free ones. And you can search in different categories. You can go under apparel or, you know, really anything that you want to take a look at. And you get these, which you're able to use in, on your site. You could use them out, uh, as ads in some cases where you have real life. This is a model mock-up, um, right? Obviously, this is just a, a 3D mock-up. This is a flat mock-up, another model mock-up, right? So um, all these free mock-ups, you need Photoshop or something similar to that to use them. But, you know, uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't count on the print-on-demand provider to create better mock-ups. Um, you know, it's just really up to you to kind of use mockups that match your brand, right? And, uh, you know, I, like I've seen like, um, you know, I guess for an extreme example, I saw like a, uh, a store where, you know, they're trying to sell marijuana related uh, t-shirts and things like that. Um, and they had, you know, a younger demographic as the model mockups. And I thought that was a great choice because that's going to be most likely the people buying their products. So you want the mockups to be uh, kind of related to your brand. Uh, equally uh, voted on here, customize, personalize any product. Um, this is for sure a, uh, a massive need in the industry. You know, um, I just actually taught a, a six-week class on this. You know, I, I think if you're going to want to do personalization and customization, there really aren't any good apps that can do it for all types of products. Um, you know, what I've always said is just do it manually at first. Yes, it, it's going to take a lot more time, but um, it's something that you could outsource pretty easily, and it's going to be cheaper than building your own kind of software to do it. So until a print-on-demand company really comes out with this at a high level um, where it covers multiple types of products, I think, you know, just doing it manually uh, and then outsourcing it with like a dedicated VA makes a lot of sense. 
Uh, next on the list, consistent quality. Uh, you know, this is just this has always been a, a concern. Kind of the same as shipping and processing times. If you're getting bad print quality, um, you just just switch, right? Just you go to a different print on demand provider. I mean, if they can't do the basic things like uh, print a, a shirt or a wall canvas at at a you know a, a good just a good print quality, then you need to find someone else. Uh, adding packaging, marketing materials, white labeling. Like this would be like. Um, putting your own tags on it or putting a little thank you note or a little card inside of the package that has some branding on it. I'm surprised this didn't get more votes. I think this is something that would be really cool. Um, you know, I think everyone understands it would add to the cost a little bit. It could be an optional additional cost. And I think that is a good way to do it. And I think a lot of people would take that because branding has become even, it's always been important, but even more so, um, you know, it's just super important to uh, consider your brand to build your brand. That's why I always talk about niche stores, right? It's so much easier to build a niche store brand. And um, I really think it's it's just, it's always been required. It's just even more important now. Uh, better pricing, you know, again, uh, you, these are basically things you weigh. Better pricing, consistent quality, shipping and processing times. Um, if you're complaining about, I don't think you're complaining about all three at once, right? I think that you might give up uh, um, better pricing to get faster shipping and processing times. Um, and I think that's just the way that some of the print on demand companies are set up. Some some go for, you know, lowest price. Others go for, you know, uh, a little bit higher price, but, you know, better service. So, you know, if you're uh, looking for better pricing, understand that you might give up on things like, uh, you know, faster shipping and processing times, or you might give up on consistent quality in sacrifice of the price. So be careful. You got to really weigh all the different print on demand programs or, or uh, uh, providers out there, um, not only just based on their price, but on their quality. And uh, last but not least, shipping costs, you know, as well uh, as the uh, shipping and processing times, you know, this is pretty much set in stone. So, um, you know, if you're getting charged like six, seven, eight bucks for a T-shirt, that's that might be, uh, you know, a little bit too high, um, you know, depending on what's happening there. And, uh, you know, in terms of how fast it's getting processed. But, um, you know, I think overall, this is kind of out of uh, the print on demand providers control, especially with rising costs here domestically in the United States. Um, USPS increasing the rates just a little bit, but across the board. So, um, you know, costs are always going up on the shipping end. I don't think that print on demand companies are looking to profit off of you on shipping. So they're really just kind of uh, passing the cost along, which you're going to have to do to your customer anyway. So we all want cheaper shipping, but, uh, you know, I think um, it, it's pretty reasonable as is right now. So uh, I really hope that this kind of helped you out. Um, you know, these are our pe struggles that people have had every year that print on demand has existed. So um, don't, don't expect, you know, the industry to change. You need to adapt to it. You need to go and find the strategies that work. Like, you know, the first point, like I said, you know, you have like, they're out there. There are great designers. I've worked with lots of them. You need to go and find them. You're not going to find them on Fiverr and you're not going to probably find them on your first try. And that's okay. You know, it's, uh, you're not hiring, uh, you know, 30 full-time workers. You just need to find one great designer. So it's worth putting the time into it. But, um, you just, like I said, you need to put it, put in the, the effort, find the winning strategies that are out there, you know, test everything that you can until you kind of figure out how to, uh, you know, kind of take those winning strategies and make them your own. And, uh, you know, you see this big banner that's been up on the screen the whole time. Definitely. If you want to work directly with me, if you want me as your mentor, please check out that link camp.justincener.com. It is my, uh, e-commerce mentor bootcamp program. It's got all my training, but more importantly, it's got direct access to me. So I hope this video was helpful for you. And definitely make sure you join this group. Totally free. It's Senior E-Commerce Mastermind. You find it on Facebook. And uh, these were 11 problems and 11 solutions uh, for uh, print-on-demand struggles in 2019. Again, hope it, uh, hope it helps you make some money. And I'll talk to you real soon.